New at 10 o'clock, another round of results from a nitric oxide trial here in Louisiana are positive. Researchers at LSU Health in Shreveport have been testing the effects of the gas on hospitalized COVID-19 patients. This all part of a global study of more than 250 people. News News Trey Kuvion got an update from the doctor in charge of this trial. Sylvia Michael, early data showed that patients who received the nitric oxide therapy were able to breathe more easily and didn't show any major side effects. And researchers say the newest results that they just received shows that the colorless, odorless gas could actually help to kill the virus itself. You know, it's not the treatment, but it is certainly going to be a treatment. We're, we're, we're very convinced of that. Dr. Keith Scott says he's becoming more optimistic after months of administering nitric oxide to both severe and less severe coronavirus patients at LSU Health Sciences Center in Shreveport. It certainly is very, very safe. And that's the one thing that we're seeing over and over again about this nitric oxide. Through their research, part of an international clinical trial involving Harvard Medicine, they're now proving the gas can help kill the virus where it attacks the most. What's unique about this is this drug gets into those cells, not only in the lung, uh, the lung cells, but also the lining of the blood vessel. And so um, it, it has unique opportunity to interact with this virus. The first results coming back from a group of six pregnant women with coronavirus who inhaled the gas. So what the, uh, the group did at Harvard was get very high dose nitric oxide. The reason we do that is not only does it improve oxygen flow to the lungs, uh, but it also has virucidal actually can kill the virus in the cells itself. Between April and June, three of the six women delivered four babies, including a set of twins. Each infant tested negative for COVID-19 and remained healthy afterwards. Five of the women also later tested negative at least twice. Scott hopes that the results are similar for the severe and the less severe patients they've been treating in Louisiana, saying the gas, which is already approved by the FDA, is widely accessible. Any hospital, any physician can start using it tomorrow. That's another duty of this. There's no regulatory hoops to jump through. Some hospitals like Baton Rouge General already using nitric oxide to help virus patients recover. Scott says more positive data will only encourage more hospitals to use it, saying it's just as important as developing a vaccine. A lot of the effort is for vaccine, and we need to push for vaccine very hard because that's the ultimate uh, treatment. But there's going to be people that will not take the vaccine. There's going to be people that the vaccine may not work on. And there are still some seriously ill patients in Shreveport who are currently receiving the gas as part of the ongoing study. Scott says that more data and results being released in the coming weeks will determine if the gas is truly effective in killing the virus.